In this video, we are addressing the issue where the we get an error. The application was unable to start correctly and the error code is 0xc0 pen to 0 5. Windows 10 is one of the most anticipated versions of Windows by Microsoft, although Windows 8 created a new trend in the world of desktop operating system, but it had some issues in design and performance that were the main focus for Microsoft in Windows 10. So, Windows 10 final build was revealed on July 29, 2015 for desktop as well as for smartphones. It includes a lot of modifications uh, by keeping the flaws of Windows 8 in consideration. In fact, it is an advanced version of Windows but still there are a number of consequences occurring every day with different uses. A major part of these consequences are the errors that come out when trying to do a particular task. A number of people have come through an error message while trying to open different softwares and browsers inside their Windows 10. This error comes with an error message saying the application was unable to start correctly. 0xc0 pen 5 is the error code and then it says to click OK to close the application. This error usually occurs with internet browsers, but it is not confined to those. Any application inside the windows can stop responding due to this error, so it needs to be fixed in order to revert those essential softwares back to work. There are a number of reasons, uh, known reasons causing this error to disturb the operation of various softwares in Windows 10. One of those reasons that are considered as a major cause is a third-party antivirus program causing conflicts with executable files and influencing their operations. On the other hand, registries can get corrupted due to malwares and viruses causing the programs to behave abnormally. Sometimes, bad hardware driver can also be the culprit causing this error. So based on the reasons mentioned, the solutions are straightforward. So we're going to show few methods to fix this problem in this video. So let's move on with the first method, which is to fix the antivirus program. Antivirus program can influence the executable files of a number of programs. So in order to fix the problem, you are required to disable the third party antivirus program to check whether it was the culprit or not. Also note that disabling antivirus program can result in some serious threats to your computer when connected to internet. You can rely upon the Windows own security software which is Windows Defender. It has same functionality as of any other antivirus. You can also disable antivirus by navigating to its settings and turning the shield off. After it is disabled, check for the error again. If it still persists, you can move on to our next method. Our next method is to fix registries. The registry is the central database of Windows that is constantly being used by your PC to help it read many different files and settings that it needs to run. Registries can get corrupted due to damage to some certain files required to stack everything in place. These can also be influenced by viruses and malwares. Here are the steps we are going to show you to fix this registry problem. First, we need to download registry cleaner software. The link is given in this video's description. Let me open up a web browser and here is the link. Let's wait for the executable to get downloaded. Okay, so once the download is done, run the exe file, click yes on. Let me close this browser and wait for the installation wizard to complete its um, 
process, I'm going to uncheck the free Avast antivirus installation. Let's quickly go to customize section to see what we are going to install. Click on install, wait for the wizard to get complete. We are not going to view the release notes, just run the C cleaner. Let's go to registry and click on scan for issues. It will take a while to perform the action. So once the scanning is complete, you will see this button getting enabled to fix selected issues. Click on this button. It will ask you to back up the registry. It is always safe to say yes. Name, name the backup anything and then click on save. I'm going to click on fix all selected issues. So once this is done, Try running your application again and see if the issue is fixed. The third method that we have is to fix faulty drivers. Drivers are the software programs that help the computer to communicate with the hardware attached to it. So when they are damaged, the hardware tends to cause glitches and fixing these faulty drivers can help you out in a number of ways. Let's press Windows and X key. Click on Device Manager. Inside the device manager, scroll down the list and see if there is any yellow mark against any device driver. If you found any yellow mark with any device driver, just right click on it. Let's take an example of this and click on update drivers. When you click update drivers, you'll get a wizard asking you to browse your computer for driver software or you will get an option to search automatically for updated driver software. Click on the first option and let the wizard complete the process. Once it is done, restart your computer and see if the error is gone. Our fourth method is to fix BCD. This method is to carry out by users at their own risk this did work for some and did not for some you'll also need to reactivate windows after performing these steps we are going to show you now hold windows key and press x and choose command prompt admin or you can also go for windows powershell and run this at admin Type BCD, add it, and press enter. If your Windows bootloader path is xosload.exe, then you need to remove some files and repair your BCD. You can see this path under the Windows bootloader section here. Once done, you can execute the commands we are going to show you. Some may return not found, but ignore the errors and proceed till the last. Make sure you hit the enter after each command. So first command is delete. This location should be the directory where your operating system is installed. Let's press enter. Let's say next command. Enter. Move on to next command. Enter. And follow the same procedure for the commands given on the screen. Once you are done, restart your computer and see if your error is gone. I hope this video will be helpful for you. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.